What exactly are we looking for? The police already checked this whole area. If we have an advantage, they don't. You doing the eye thing? Hey, I need you to check my backyard sometime. I buried a jaw quarters when I was 10. Never could find it. Found my dad's truck right about here. Did you find something? Yeah, it's a bullet. We need to get the sheriff out here to dig it out. I don't mean to rain on your CSI parade, but the only thing that bullet proves is that somebody shot a shed. Look, the sheriff said he found powder residue on my dad's hand. My dad said he'd never seen that gun before, much less fired it. So? What does that mean? It means that whoever shot Lionel probably drugged my dad and then followed him until he pulled over. If that bullet came from the same gun that shot Lionel, maybe we can convince the police that my dad is being framed. Removed the bullet, the kidney damage significantly slowed his metabolism. He's in a coma. What are his chances? His higher brain functions are shutting down. If he doesn't regain consciousness in the next 24 hours, he won't make it. I'm sorry. Sheriff Ethan, I talked to you for a minute. Excuse me, Sheriff. What is it, Clark? I found a bullet in a shack near where you arrested my father. My men went over that area with a microscope. Well, they must have missed it. Someone put that gun in my dad's hand and fired it. That's why you found gunpowder on his skin. Or it could be your dad squeezed off around while he was parked there drinking tequila, or it could be from a totally different weapon. Whoever's trying to set up my dad doesn't want you to find that bullet. I don't know what it'll prove, but I'll get out there and have it tested. Sheriff. Thanks. I was wondering if we could talk. My name's Dominic Santori. I work for Lionel Luther. Clark, would you excuse us? It's okay. He can stay. I don't think his father shot Mr. Luther. But I'm pretty sure I know who did. All right, Lex. What's so urgent? You insisted I fly in for a face-to-face. -face. I'm missing Domingo's La Boheme. Well, consider this a curtain call on our own private opera, Dad. Would you ask your sing-eye dog to wait outside? Anything you have to say, you can say in front of Dominic. A representative from an offshore shell company bears an uncanny resemblance to Mr. Santori here. He's been quietly approaching the LexCorp employees and buying up their voting shares. Hmm. Is that so? I was under the impression they had no intention of selling. What'd you get on them? <laughs> now, Lex, don't be a sore loser. I'm just realigning your priorities. Your attempt to build LexCorp was at the expense of our mutual goals. The only thing we share is a mutual enmity. This entire father-son reconciliation act was just a smokescreen to stab me in the back and buy out my company. If you were really ready to run LexCorp, there's no way I could have taken it from you. You look at this as an opportunity for us to work together again, father and son. When I broke away from you, I swore I'd never be under your thumb again. It's my hope that you'll stay and rise to the challenge. Your ego wouldn't allow it. I'll fight you on this and I'll win. You better have something stronger than words to back up those threats, son. Because as of this moment, you are just another employee. All Lex had to do was wait until Lionel was alone. Didn't I make it clear? The conversation is over. After he shot him, Lex could have framed Mr. Kent. Then he drove his girlfriend to Metropolis, a convenient alibi. Well, thank you, Mr. Santori. I'll certainly look into that. Excuse me. I know Lex and his dad have their problems, but it's hard to believe he'd do that. Face it, Clark. In your heart, you've always known what Lex is capable of. 